What's up everybody? Today for this YouTube video, we are gonna be going over how to wind up your mousetrap car. There are a lot of issues that happen with winding up your mousetrap car. Sometimes it starts rolling and then all of a sudden it stops. Sometimes it starts rolling and then it stops and then it comes back towards you. Sometimes you wanna start it off and all of a sudden, whoop, it's rolling backwards right off the start. Sometimes it just won't go. Um, what's up with all these issues? That's what we're gonna tackle in this issue of Mousetrap Car Madness. Let's get it started. So first things first, let's get into how does a mousetrap car go forward? So we've got our spring here. Um, the spring is engaged by clipping onto our lever arm here, our moment arm. And then this string here is going to wrap around the axle right here. And as it's wrapped around, then we're gonna load it up and then the spring pulls it forward, making your wheels unwind, making the car roll forward. That's about it in the most simple form. So something that's happened first, is your spring engaged? Right now the spring's not engaged, so if I wound it up, nothing would happen. So the spring lever has to be hooked onto the lever arm, making it snap forward. Uh, you know, if you wanna have a rear wheel drive car going forward, then your spring, when it snaps, it needs to pull the lever arm towards the front. So if you've got your stuff reversed, then you've gotta do something funky or make a front wheel drive car. Um, so, so that's the things first here. We've got our spring on here facing forward. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my spring here, string here now let's say our we can't get our car to wrap up on here, and I'm actually gonna use a bigger uh, dowel rod and a bigger string to show you what is happening with this one here. So I've got a bigger dowel rod and a bigger string to hopefully show you how to wrap up your car, because it's really hard to see with these really small uh, strings and small axles. So I'm gonna unwind some here. Sometimes you take your string and you wrap it up on there and you're wrapping it and you're wrapping it and you're winding up your car and you go and it's all wound up. Now it's time to release the car. And what happens is it goes like this and it pulls and the whole thing pulls off just like that. And this doesn't even roll forward. So what happens is you don't have enough friction on your axle. So there's two things you can do. What I did here with this one is I actually put a little piece of scotch tape because it was slipping a little bit on the axle and that'll give it some grip right there. But also when you wrap up the string onto the axle, I like to put a little fold in it and then I'll wrap it. And as I'm wrapping it, I go over. See, I went over it right there. And then as I'm winding it up, up I'm gonna go over it again. And as I'm winding it up, I go over it again. And then as I wind it up more, I'm wrapping and I've gone over it and over it and over it several times. So I bury the very end of the string. And what this does is then when I grip the string here, and you can see I'm really pulling on it, pulling on it hard right now, and it's not going because when this pulls, then it actually cinches down tighter and gets a tighter grip. So when you wind up your car, you ideally want the end to be folded under, so that way when this goes to unravel here, it'll really pull and it'll unwind that car, whoosh, taken off. So there is how to wind up a car in the basics. Now, your car is going forward and then it stops and sometimes it even rolls backwards. So what does that mean? If you'll notice here on mine, the string fully stretched out is actually about a centimeter to an inch shorter than it doesn't reach my axle right here. Um, and so actually when I go back here, it has to be almost at the last 30 degrees of angle before it touches the string. 
And that, what that ensures is that when it finally releases, this string snaps and flies forward. So um, I'm actually gonna take off this string and I'm gonna put on a longer string and I can demonstrate what happens if you have too much string on your mousetrap car. So right now, I've made a string here. It's clearly longer. It's longer by about an inch and a half uh, longer than the axle. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna wind this up all the way, wrapping it under and over and getting it nice and tight on there. Now what's gonna happen is as I wind this up, as I wind this up here, there we go, almost ready to do our blast off. Okay. There we go. So I've got it wound up on there, just like how I showed earlier, but my string is really long. Uh, I'm gonna switch the camera angle here to a side view and see what happens when I let go. All right, here we go, I'm gonna let go. All right, so what you just saw is you saw this really accelerate fast and all of a sudden it slows down and it stops. And if we actually zoom in right there, you'll see it is still tangled on there. It's tangled on the axle because when it wraps around there, it grips it so tight. So what this would do is it would go forward and then it would slam on the brakes after only going, you know, however far this lever arm would take it, maybe seven or eight meters. Um, I'll see if I can get a video of it happening in action. Oh, as it freezes and then starts to roll backward. So what you could see just happened was that it rolled forward all the way and then it exhausted the string. So it pulled out, snapped forward, exhausted the amount of string that was on there. And then there's still string stuck on there. So what it does is it tangles up on itself and slams on the brakes and then it bounces backwards. And so that's what happened in that one. And we can easily solve that. So what you do is you wrap it up on there to the maximum amount, just like this. And then you just cut it about right there. So that it's literally almost as long, but just stopping short. So you do have to preload the spring so you don't get the last bit of a snap, but you do ensure that your, your car is gonna go all the way. So, you know, it's kind of a trade-off sometimes. So there's that wound up. And now that it's all the way shortened, it's gonna snap off and then it'll keep rolling and its own momentum will carry it much further. All right, so those are about all the string issues. If you're having it roll backwards right off the, off the start, what people are doing then is they're just rolling it in the opposite direction. They're starting with the string underneath and then they're rolling it up, rolling the wheels forward. So if you're rolling it up, rolling the wheels forward like this, then when it unwinds, it's gonna go backwards. Um, and so that's how you fix that. That's an, that's an easy fix. Uh, any other things? Not really. It's pretty simple, straightforward wind-up car. That's the string issues, and we'll see you next time.